Hi everyone, this is a new journey for me doing junk journaling. Um, so basically I'm just um, uh, using a A6 notebook and just trying out this new thing that uh, everyone is talking about and seeing if this is something that I would like doing. And so I've just been doing this in the last week or so and just seeing how, um, yeah, um, how creative I can be and whether it's, um, it's something I like to continue. So I just thought I'd uh, take a video to show you my progress. And um, so, yeah, um, so just a few pages. Um, so I started off with uh, this page um most of the items here or ephemera um came from um a little newsletter from the library and i did have extra washi tape um, this also here came from uh, a midori um cover um so i just used the paper and bits and pieces and cut them up and um, I found a little book with Snoopy on it I like Snoopy um, so he goes in there and just thought I'd make a little flip out as well and this uh, in the Snoopy book it came with this little card which I thought it was cute and so I just put that in and um, yeah, these are uh, from the library newsletter. That there were two different notebooks or leaflets, should I say? I just decided to just cut them up and and decorate them and put them in my journal. Um, here I found um, little daisies in the garden, and I just thought I'll put it in. Uh, a little plastic thing um, and dry them hopefully they will dry okay as a memento um, this is uh, also what found this in the uh, Snoopy book which I got from the op shop and that looked really cute so I decided to put that in and These words came from a um, a book of Japanese poems, um, and it came from the op shop. Um, this here is again from that Snoopy book, which I really love. This panda came from my daughter. She actually had some journaling supplies which she was getting rid of and I bought it. Um, as you can see I'm just trying different things. I don't know if it works but you guys can tell me if it does work or not. And um, I actually really like this page um, because it has a, a bit of a vintage look to it, if you can see. Um, and I also use, I drink coffee and this, like, my coffee bag. Um, I actually dabbed it on the page just for the effect of um, making it a little bit and as you can see here I've used my coffee bag as well um, to um, to age the page and made a little pocket out of an envelope and then this was a tissue uh, paper that came in my husband's um, uh, shoebox he bought some new boots and it's called mongrel boots 
you don't know what mongrel means, it's egg dog in Australian. Um, and so, yeah, I thought that it looked really good, the tissue. I love the logo there. It says made in Australia. Very cool. I found this um, paper um, again at the op shop. There was a map book and I was very excited to be able to use it. Um, this is uh, an experiment with vellum. I haven't used vellum before and I did uh, put my coffee back um, on it. Like as in, yeah, use use it use it to age the the page, but as you can see the splashes, I think it's because the ink is smudging. So maybe I may not use it next time. Although some people may say it's the effect, it gives the effect. Um, uh, this paper here, as you can see, there's a bit of a, a map of um. Uh, a map book, a different one which I use. I like how it's greys and and greens and very earthy. Uh, it's it looks good. So I thought I'll uh, again. I found that at the op shop and it was just really um, it looked good. I mean, as I said, I am trying this for the very first time and so I'm trying all sorts of things and these little circles here. I just had a little tube uh, from the dog poopy bag roll and I thought if I painted it, what will it look like? And that's why it turned out as... Um, this is a page where I saw the Tuscany uh, picture in our local newspaper and it looked fantastic. It, I have a few other photos which um, is of Italy and I really liked it. So I was just thinking, okay, maybe I can make a page out of it. So that's what it turned out. And these words here, I bought a, uh, a weekly planner to put on my desk. And I decided, and I used that particular page, I decided to cut out the words to put in. Do you think it's... I don't know. I'm just, as I said, trying various options. Um, this page is pretty special. I decided... I was watching a video on watercolour, and I thought, I have never tried watercolor before I wonder how it would look like and I had a sketchbook which I started a couple of pages of um, nature journaling so this is one of them and I decided because it was just black pen and I decided to put some color on it and this is how it turned out I was very impressed and this one here is just pure watercolour, which I saw a video again of a lady just doing pure watercolour flowers. I love flowers. And I thought I'd just try it. Look, for the first time doing it, I am pretty wrapped. And, and these ones were also from my book for Nature Journaling. And I just thought I'll put some colour on it. Little did I know it did, it just popped out. It could be a sticker for all, you know, a board sticker, maybe. I mean, I think it's something that I probably would do again. Um, this one is watercolour on vellum. As I said before in my other one here. Oh, I haven't. Okay, sorry. I'm talking, thinking about something else. Um... I don't know if you like it, but I think that, so these ones I painted, I drew on the, the, um, the front, the, um, I drew on the front and painted on the back because the pen 
was actually smudging. So it worked. Um, actually, this one is the one that I tested, drew on the front and painted on the back. Whereas this one, as you can see, it, it was smudging and it didn't work. Although some people may, may think that that's a nice effect to have. So I w I'm just again experimenting, right? Like, I mean, that's the purpose of a junk journal. Uh, experiment and there's no rules so I think I'm pretty happy about that and here is another one uh, of my um, journaling drawing which I did in 2021 during a sex supervision well that's if you don't know what a sex supervision is it's actually um, where I'm su su supervising students while they're doing their exams. And there was a, some time I just um, yeah, took my sketchbook out and just sketched a couple of things on the page. Uh, it was a three-hour exam, I think it was, and it can be quite boring. S and I think there was only a couple of students, so not a big deal. There's not much to do then. Um, so yes, um, and, and also I've got a note here saying that it was the first time I, I started drawing with, um, my Uniball. This is my Uniball pen, Jetstream, uh, 0.7. I don't, uh, it is quite a large nib, but it's, I, I was pretty happy with with it so yeah I'm just interested to see if um, what you guys think and if it is something that I should keep doing if there's any errors or, or any suggestions I mean you know there shouldn't be any errors we are experimenting anyway um, yeah let me know in the comments below um, yeah and I will endeavor to um, um, to put more on, uh, to, to create more. Uh, so I, I'll just show you, uh, that's what the page looks like. It's from Kmart, this little notebook. So if you live in Australia, you know what Kmart is. And I, why I, I like to use this as a base is because... Uh, it's cost effective. It was, I think, something like $3 or it might even be less for three books. I recovered this particular book with some um, scrapbook paper which my daughter had. I might put some other embellishments at the front. So, yeah, I thought that this is a good base. Um for me to start I know some people build their um their junk journal just from scrap paper which I might do later but just for confidence uh to build my confidence I decided to do this so why don't you join me on a journey um of junk journaling uh as a beginner um yeah um come with me on this journey and see where I end up and if you want to do one yourself, well, why not? Um, you know, get a journal, a small one. And the other thing is, being small, it's um, not as overwhelming as a big journal. So I decided to start small. And for the purpose of storage, it is so easy to store, say, even 20 or 50 journals in a shoebox, right? So that's why I decided to to do an A6 journal. So, yes, um, thank you for watching my video and listening to me. And yeah, for sure, um, if there's any suggestions, please um, uh, 
include it in your comments below. I appreciate it. See you later. Bye.